So are you needing your mesh to keep its form after multiple uses, but it's just not holding its shape? Well, you may want to get your supplier to anneal your mesh before it's fabricated. I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, my name's Andrew Kotlar, and there's really just two primary forms of wire mesh annealing. It can be hard to figure out which one is right for you, which is why it is crucial that you understand both batch annealing and continuous annealing. And WS Tyler has been a leading manufacturer of woven wire mesh and fabricated wire mesh components for 150 years. And we are here to help you to unlock the full potential of your wire mesh solution. So today, we'll go over what batch annealing is, the benefits and drawbacks of batch annealing, what continuous annealing is, the benefits and drawbacks of continuous annealing, and the cost differences between the two. Annealing is a heat treatment technique used to soften the individual wires of the mesh roll to increase its pliability. After being annealed, you're left with a wire mesh roll with a lowered internal stress, which allows it to be formed into a lot of different profiles and still maintain its shape. But within that, Annealing is broken down into two processes, batch annealing and continuous annealing. The batch annealing furnace process is a heat treatment technique where several rolls of wire mesh are loaded and dropped into a furnace together. Once the mesh is placed in the furnace, it's sealed and a vacuum is created. At this point, the mesh is heated to a very specific temperature and left to bake for a predetermined time. But typically, batch annealing is left for 10 to 30 hours but that all depends on your requirements. Batch annealing tends to make the metallic wires of the mesh softer if they underwent the sintering process. This makes it into a wire mesh roll that has enhanced drawing characteristics. And because of that, the batch annealing process is typically used when the wire mesh roll will be applied to low-end automated processes and various wire mesh components. But it should be noted that because the mesh rolls are heat treated all at once, it's not uncommon to find inconsistencies throughout the mesh. The continuous annealing process is a heat treatment technique that calls for the unrolling of the wire mesh roll and running it through a furnace as a single layer. So to ensure the wire mesh is effectively treated, the meshes typically run through several times, depending on your requirements, of course. Since continuous annealing is a progressive process with little to no disparity, it proves to be the quicker of the two in annealing processes. But the increased level of physical characteristics makes the continuous annealing process for wire mesh an intense automated process. And also, as continuous annealing is more controlled, it's typically not as tough on the mesh being treated, which makes it ideal when those finer mesh specifications are being used. The most significant factor that divides the cost of the two is labor. Basically, the more labor needed to heat treat your mesh, the more it'll cost. But I should say there's typically more labor required during the continuous annealing process, especially since only one roll can be heat treated at a time. And since several rolls of mesh can be treated all at once, there's not as much labor needed for the batch annealing process, which is why batch annealing is typically cheaper. But having said that, the price of the heat treatment should not be the deciding factor of what annealing process you should select. It really should be how hard you need your mesh to be. For a softer, more malleable mesh, batch annealing should be applied. For a mesh that's pliable while still maintaining a higher level of stability, continuous annealing is the ideal process. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.